Hey there, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be learning how to paint this cute little house sparrow. Now, if you are looking for a full tutorial, completely in depth, uh, real time with every little detail, paint mixing, how to apply the paint, all that good stuff, I would love to invite you to take a step inside the Wildlife Painting Academy uh, where you can find this tutorial and tons of other ones that will completely change the way that you paint realistic wildlife. So I want to start by just kind of blocking out my background here. So for the purpose of this little demo, I'm just going to be going with a solid background. So using a large brush, I am just basically taking dark brown paint and creating a nice layer to give the bird some contrast. I'm going to start to map out where all the darker parts of the bird are. So I'm using, again, a dark brown to kind of go in and brush in where those darker sections are going to go. So these are going to be actual shadows and dark feather markings as well. So I'm going to start to actually block in some of the birds, starting with the head. I'm going to use some lighter, slightly golden-ish gray tones. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to block that in and then I'm going to work in some detail afterwards, starting with the foundation first. So now I'm working my way around this cute little bird and blocking in the different tones that I see from my reference. So now I'm using a much smaller brush and I'm going to start to actually detail those little feet. Now it's time for some fun details. I'm going in with a nice fine liner brush and some lighter paint, and I'm gonna be stroking in that nice feather texture. These are really downy feathers here, so I find that they actually tend to look a lot like fur.
So now I'm going in with a dark glaze and I really want to boost the shadow. So the, mostly the cast shadow that falls on the underside of the bird here. So I mixed up a nice dark glaze and I'm carefully brushing that in to give it a little bit more contrast. I also wanted to boost saturation on those rusty colored feathers. So I'm going in with a glaze that is a lot more warm and I'm just adding a lot more saturation to those feathers. You can see this practically works like magic. It looks so good. <laughs> All right, and we are done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little painting tutorial. And if you are interested in full, fully detailed explanations and tutorials, I encourage you to check out the Wildlife Painting Academy. All right, see you next time.